All right, guys. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a CC tutorial, and I'm making another one because the last one people took it the wrong way. They thought they had to make a CC exactly like the one I made, but I was trying to show people what different stuff does. But uh, I'm gonna make an updated one today. So first thing you're gonna to want to do is based on the edit you're making, if you're doing like one anime, find like a good scene like this uh, to make your CC on, and then import it. And then you want to make an adjustment layer, and then you want to add your looks. So, then you open it. So I'm going to walk you guys through what different stuff does. Um, you know, and then the things that I put on it. Then hopefully it'll help you guys make your own. Because obviously, not everyone wants to make a CC exactly like me. So first thing is exposure. I don't really use this unless it's like super dark. But, uh. Yeah, obviously we all know what exposure does. Just makes stuff brighter. Like that. Or darker, of course. But you don't really need to use that. Contrast. Um, I'll show you guys what that does later. Diffusion. This says optical diffusion because I have a newer version. But it's the exact same thing as diffusion. So you don't got to worry about that. This works sometimes, not always. Uh, so kind of be careful with it. Shadows and highlights is good, but... In some versions of looks, it makes like a white line thing, so it's not always the best to use, but if you are going to use it, use like the actual effect, not the one in looks. So yeah. Next, uh, lens distortion. Uh, I use this a decent amount, but I always put it to negative 7, because it just adds, it's not really much, but I don't know why I like it, but I just add it. Anyway. Um, edge softness. This is used mainly in Roto's script, used it, and now uh, a bunch of people use it. It works sometimes with certain edits, but not always. I don't really use it that much. Uh, Four-way color, I'm colorista. These are really good if you're kind of doing a mono-colored CC. Uh, you know, not the best with everything. Uh, Mojo, I'm not exactly sure what this does, I don't really use it that much. But, you know... I guess it works sometimes, it it just makes it look bluer or darker, I guess, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Haze flare, uh, kind of just makes like a flare. As you can see right here, you can change the color. If I use this, uh, I'll put the spillage down to like 25 and keep it the default color. Or again, if I'm going for a monocolored CC, uh, I'll make it the uh, color I want. Alright, next. Um, S curve. This is just curves, but without the other color options. Um, you, know, you can mess with this like that. Make it darker, make it brighter. Um, duo tone. If I ever use duo tone, I keep it the same because it makes it blue automatically. And you know, I like to use blue. You can mess with the colors if you want. But yeah, so duo tone does. Um, and then the last thing I, I usually use is, I've used this like one time, it just makes noise. It's, you can use the noise effect or you can use this. Can't really see it, but it's making noise right there. And then also film print. This makes it dark and stuff. If I use this, uh, I'll, just, I'll make the um, strength like 50. So it's not really, really dark. So yeah, now that we've kind of gone over the main ones that I use, I'm going to show you guys how I make mine. So first thing I'll do is uh, I'll add a contrast. Lens distortion, I think uh, diffusion is decent. I'll use like a really subtle diffusion for this one. Four-way color. I add two LUTs. Oh yeah, I forgot to go over LUT, but uh, it just makes it a certain color. So yeah, that's what that does. And then I'll add a dual tone, an S curve, and then a film print, of course. So first, like I said, I'm gonna go 50 here. Cause yeah, why not? So then I'll do my lens distortion. Like a negative seven. You can you can go whatever amount you want. Just don't make it a positive amount because it it looks really weird. So yeah, I'll keep it there. Um, next thing, my diffusion, I'm going to lower the strength because it's like 
it's glowy and blurry at his hair, and I don't like that. Um, it is adding a nice kind of blue glow, though. Oh, wait, never mind. No, I was wrong. Okay, anyway, I think that's all right for now. Uh, offspring. With the LUTs, based on the edit I'm going with, I'll use different ones, but I usually go with Offspring here, and then I'll lower it to like anywhere between 50 to 75, I think. This looks good. And then I'll always pair it with Blood Bag, uh, and then this one will be really low. Maybe like this, and then if I still don't like how it looks, I'll add another one and I'll put it on uh, Polaris. Or... Blue Unity, but Polaris in this case I like. Um, next I'm going to mess with the S-curve. It's a little dark in the back, I don't really like that. Um, so I'm going to mess with it like this. And then last thing, four-way color. This one is a big one, so I'll just, I'll put it at a random color. I, I Obviously I go with blue. You just kind of, you pick your color and then you drag this based on how heavy it's going to be. Uh, and then you do that with all of them. So yeah, if I put it all the way up here, it'll be blue. And then down here, it'll be not. So yeah. And then I'll keep messing with this. Then maybe turn the saturation down a little bit. And yeah, so with this one... I don't know if you guys can tell right here, it's making uh, those, uh, obviously it's not very pretty, but uh, it's unnoticeable, especially when the edit's going fast, so yeah, with and without this, it just made it more blue, so after that, we check mark it out, oh, I forgot to mess with contrast, I think it's, I think it's fine for now, so I'm just going to take off the contrast, alright, and then you can either keep it like this, um, or you can add curves. So with curves, what normally people do is they'll just mess with it like this. And they think they only have this mode right here. But if you click here, you have a bunch of different color modes. This red one, based on where you drag it, it'll become more red or less red. And you just got to be careful where you're dragging it. Because if I drag it down here, it becomes more green. Uh, if I drag it up here, it's more red. So... I think I'll mess with it like this. Let's take off. I think I'll mess with it like that. You can turn it on and off. See what it's doing. Green. If I want to go for more of a purplish look now, uh, I can drag down green and make it more purple. Then of course blue. If I drag it down, I don't know what's doing that. If I drag it up, it becomes really blue, which is really ugly in my opinion. So I'm just gonna. Keep it maybe, maybe here. So yeah. So yeah, you don't want to do just curves or just looks, but you can if you want, I guess. Next thing, levels. Uh, this what it does is it makes it kind of more. I guess I could say dry. Uh, versus, uh, well, I don't even know. But this, if I reset it, this input black. If you drag it up it'll become more darker on the edges. If I drag it to the left, um, it'll become kind of brighter. And yeah, I don't even know how to explain what it looks like. But yeah, so I usually don't really touch this a lot. But this input, input white, uh, if I drag it to the left, it'll become brighter. If I drag it to the right, it'll become darker. So usually you pair these two. So I can drag it like that and then Keep it like this. And then just like curves, there's these options as well. So you can make it like that. So yeah, levels doesn't really do a lot uh, for me when I mess with it. But, uh, you know, even though it's not doing much on this scene itself, it'll still probably do more or less with other scenes in the edit. So then what I'm going to do is you can leave it like this or what I sometimes like to do based on the edit is I'll add noise and then I'll like put it a decent I don't know a decent amount and it, it just creates a little bit of noise and you know if you're doing like 
kind of like a VHS edit. It looks like that. Obviously, you don't want it on like a roto edit or a hype edit. So the, the look weird and it won't match. So just depending on the vibe of your edit and the vibe of the song or the style of the edit, um, you can use it or you can't. Or you can use it, or you, if you don't want to, you don't use it. But uh, yeah, just based on specific styles, it looks good on some ones, looks really bad on the other ones. Then last thing, if it's still pretty bright, I'll add S vignette and vignette. Um, if it'll load, please. There we go. Uh, right now, you can see it's really dark. And usually with a vignette, I'll just put it the radius to 1.1, leave everything else the same. And then, yeah, so with CC, without CC, it looks like this. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll show you guys if I, if I add an effect. So yeah, uh, then re play with the scaling again in the position. Uh, so yeah, like that. So just with without CC, the effect itself is average. So if I refit on the CC, th this this again was a bad example on of effects, but uh, a good CC definitely does a lot for your effects and stuff. Um, if it just had looks like that. So yeah, um, once again, a bad example uh, of an effect here, but I thought I'd just show you guys that. Again, uh, with a CC, you're making it only on one clip, so it, it'll obviously look different on other clips. So what you could do with that is, uh, um, I'll grab a different clip here with a bunch of different colors. All right, uh, just take that, put it here. So obviously it definitely does not look the best or as good. So what you can do with that is when you're done putting on your effects for that clip, you'll have the CC on. So one thing you could do is you can cut your CC layer and turn off certain um, effects. You can mess with your looks a little bit, pretty much make an entirely new CC. Or what you could do is you just add your own curves to this. You kind of make it how you want. Mm -hmm. I think I'll lower that. Lower the green. Raise raise the blue a little bit here. I'll add levels. I think that that looks pretty cool. And then I think it's still a little too blue, so to make it less saturated, you add tint and you keep it on white. And then you put on 50, and what that'll do is it'll just make this scene itself uh, a little bit less saturated, so more like black and white. Uh, and then you put on the CC again. So with the CC or with CC without these, it looks like that, and then with them, it looks like this. So since uh, always the CC isn't gonna look as good on separate clips as the one you made it on, so you want to uh, be adding different things to change the change the look of uh, the scenes if the CC doesn't make it look as good as you'd like. So uh, yeah, 